The best NFL player from each team, Chicago Bears. We have Justin Fields, who has made a huge leap this season. There's no quarterback in the league that has as many rushing yards as Justin Fields. Almost a thousand already, but he's still far away from being a franchise quarterback. Seattle Seahawks. Can we talk about Geno Smith? The highest completion percentage in the NFL? The second highest quarterback rating? From this guy? Are you serious? He was a backup quarterback for so many years, and now he's literally carrying the Seahawks on his back. Atlanta Falcons. We have Cordell Patterson, who last year was a breakout running back. This guy used to be a wide receiver, but all of a sudden, he's Derrick Henry on the ground. Denver Broncos. You thought it was Russell Wilson? You thought wrong. We have our first defensive player of the video, Patrick Sertain the second. He's not getting as many interceptions as he would hope this season, but he's still by far their best player. And talking about Patrick Sertain, we have somebody that just scored on him, the Carolina Panthers, DJ Moore. He recently just scored a touchdown over Sertain, and that's not easy to do. Green Bay Packers. You're gonna get mad at me, but it's Aaron Jones. I'm sorry. Aaron Rodgers has the same quarterback rating as his backup this season, Jordan Love. He has been below average. Even though the Packers have been struggling this season, Aaron Jones has been the one bright side on the team. Houston Texans. The rookie fourth round pick, Damon Pierce, out of nowhere, has become one of the best running backs in the league. He is the only reason the Texans have any wins at all this season. Their quarterback is awful, their offensive line is questionable, don't even get me started with their defense, but Damon Pierce has been a star. Jacksonville Jaguars, Trevor Lawrence. After last season, he was on the verge of being considered a bust. Even I thought maybe this guy is a bust. But he's taken a huge leap forward and he's starting to figure out how to win football games for his team. He's the reason the Jaguars have been a little competitive this season and next year I think he's going to be probably a star. New England Patriots. I hate this guy because he ruined my fantasy team. I had Damian Harris, the running back for the Patriots, but he lost his job to Ramondre Stevenson, who is now the best player on the Patriots. This guy started his season as the backup, but he just forced Bill Belichick to play him more because he was doing insane. New Orleans Saints, Alvin Kamara, and you're probably thinking, Greg, you are out of your mind to only have him at number 23. But I'm not. Even though he's still their best player, Alvin Kamara's been struggling this season. He hasn't been catching the same, he hasn't been running the same, and if the New Orleans Saints were a better team with some better players, he probably wouldn't even be their best player. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Okay, this one was tough. It was between Mike Evans and Tom Brady, but I had to give it to Tom Brady. I know, not his best season, but nobody on the Buccaneers is having their best season. Leonard Fournette, down season. Mike Evans, down season. Chris Godwin, very down season. Tom Brady is the only reason they're still in playoff contention. New York Jets and we get another defensive player, Sauce Gardner. I wish I was born with the name Sauce because that's the coolest name of all time. You're not gonna believe this stat. In his first 11 games, he had 14 pass deflections. Most people get 14 pass deflections over like two, three seasons. Sauce not only has been the best player on the Jets, he's one of the best defensive players in the entire NFL. At number 20, the Cincinnati Bengals. It's between Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase. And a few months ago, I would have given it to Chase, but ever since he got injured, Joe Burrow has still been amazing. He hasn't missed a beat. That proves that he is actually the star of the team. So we're going with Joe Burrow. LA Chargers. This was a tough one because I really wanted to say Austin Eckler and I almost did it, but it's just not true. Justin Herbert is the best player on the team. Has he had a few bad games this season? Yeah, but that's because he's playing with a broken rib cartridge. But now that he's getting healthier, he's back to being the superstar he's always been. Pittsburgh Steelers. 
TJ Watt, and there's nobody even close. Nobody even half as good as him. TJ Watt with one leg would still be better than the rest of their team. Washington Commanders. It's gotta be their star wide receiver, Terry McLaurin. I don't know how this guy puts up the numbers he does when his quarterbacks are Carson Wentz and Taylor Heineke, but the fact he can do this with that shows how skilled he is as a player. Detroit Lions. The Lions are having the best season they've had in a long time. Is it because of Jared Goff? No. Is it because of DeAndre Swift? No. Amon Ross St. Brown. If the NFL had a most improved player award, it would probably go to Amon Ross St. Brown. He is putting up superstar numbers, and the crazy thing is, he gets double teamed. The Lions don't have any other good wide receivers, and he still finds a way to get open. Cleveland Browns. It is Nick Chubb, and there is no debate. Nick Chubb has proven to be one of the filthiest running backs in the league. Every time he's touched, he still gets another three yards after that. For decades, the Browns have been searching for a quarterback to lead them, but they finally realize they don't need a quarterback, they just need a monster running back. Arizona Cardinals. The Cardinals have been absolutely disgraceful this season. They have been terrible. Kyler Murray has underperformed. James Conner, disgustingly bad. But DeAndre Hopkins, as soon as he came back, he made the team better, and he's just piling up receptions and touchdowns like it's nobody's business. He is easily their best player. Dallas Cowboys. Do I even need to say his name? Micah Parsons is arguably the best defender in the entire league. Forget the Cowboys. You could say C.D. Lamb because he's amazing as a wide receiver, but he's not better than the guy that's gonna win the Depoy Award. And I'm probably the only person to ever call it the Depoy Award. Las Vegas Raiders. Fun fact, last time I made a video, they were the Oakland Raiders. Devontae Adams and Josh Jacobs are competing for who's the best star on the team. Everyone else has been doo-doo. Even though Josh Jacobs keeps having three touchdown games, I have to give it to Devontae Adams. He's the more consistent star, and when I'm stuck between two, you gotta give it to the player that's more consistent. Indianapolis Colts. Their quarterback, Sam Ellinger. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's obviously Jonathan Taylor. Is he having the season he had last season? No. Is he still having a superstar season? Yes. Moving on to the top 10, number 10, San Francisco 49ers. They have the best set of offensive players we have seen in decades. It's not George Kittle, it's not Debo Samuel. Don't you dare put Jimmy G on the screen. It's Christian McCaffrey, their new running back. I don't know why the Panthers traded him. This guy is not human, and he has taken the Niners to another level and made them Super Bowl contenders. Number nine, New York Giants. Saquon Barkley pretty much puts the entire state of New York on his back. There is no player on the Giants that are even half as good, maybe not even a quarter as good as Saquon Barkley. He has had an unbelievable season. Teams know that the Giants are just gonna force him the ball, and he still does amazing. How does he do it? Baltimore Ravens. Last season, they were at the bottom of their division. This season, they're at the top of the division. Why? Lamar Jackson. People are criticizing Lamar way too much. Is he having the best season of his career? Not exactly, but he's still having a great year, and he's the best player on their team. Tennessee Titans. I did not think Derrick Henry would come back and have the year he's having now. I thought that injury would make him slower and weaker and rusty and I was wrong wrong and wrong because Derrick Henry is still a human tank. This guy stiff arms and runs people over for a living. The Titans without Derrick Henry are a practice squad team. With Derrick Henry, they can somehow make the playoffs. Minnesota Vikings. How does a rookie make this big of a jump in one season? Justin Jefferson, what in the world? 
He is outside of his mind this season, going off. He is breaking records set by Randy Moss that nobody thought could be broken. I didn't think could be broken, but guess what? He's breaking them. And he's breaking the rest of the NFL as the Vikings actually have a chance to win a Super Bowl, literally because of him. Buffalo Bills. I love Stephon Diggs. He's on my fantasy team. I'm his biggest fan, but I say Josh Allen. I just watch the Bills games and it's like he oozes talent from his uniform. He makes a lot of mistakes in the red zone, that's his big red flag, but we're gonna put that red flag away because he is unbelievable on the ground too. He has the arm of Justin Herbert, but he does the same thing Lamar Jackson does on the ground. Lamar Jackson has three rushing touchdowns, he has five! And the Bills are the favorites to win the Super Bowl this year. You gotta give that credit to Josh Allen. Philadelphia Eagles! Who would have thought they'd be number four? Last year they were probably like number 30 because they had nobody good. But Jalen Hurts is a literal MVP candidate. Maybe even more than Amon Ross St. Brown, Jalen Hurts probably deserves most improved player of the year. He went from being, oh, maybe he's not a franchise quarterback, maybe he's overrated, to MVP candidate. That's insane. In my opinion, the Eagles are the scariest team in the league, and it's because of Jalen Hurts. Miami Dolphins. Tua Tylova, high five for me saying his name right, has been unbelievable. Has the highest passer rating in the league. But you know who's been the best wide receiver statistically this season? Tyreek Hill. He proved all of us wrong. Well, at least me, because I thought once he left the Chiefs, he would be average, or at least not as good. But even on a new team in his first season, being the number one wide receiver in the league? Are you kidding me? It's amazing. Number two, and this is a tough one, so if I get it right, you gotta hit that subscribe button. The Los Angeles Rams. It's Aaron Donald or Cooper Cup, but I gotta go with... Cooper Cup. Before he got injured, he was the best receiver in the league. Even with Matthew Stafford having one of the worst seasons of his entire career, Cooper Cup was still dominating. He was getting double teamed, triple teamed, and he still got open. I don't think any wide receiver has as much skill as Cooper Cup. And now number one, the best player for the best team in the NFL, the Kansas City Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes, who without Tyreek Hill is still having a career best season and is probably going to be our 2023 MVP.